everyone and welcome to the first vlog of 2024. I know I kept you guys waiting, but I wanted to do this in a way that felt right and organic to me. And I wanted to take my time. I feel like nowadays everything is so like fast paced and you have to do everything quickly. And I just wanted to slow down a little bit in 2024 and not succumb to sort of the pace of life and society and social media and so that is why I took some time to ensure that when I came back I was going to be able to be here 100% and just well you get me so anyways with that I want to say hi to all of you and I have been missing you all so much I know I have been talking to you so many of you over on Instagram you're like Sam where are you? When's your next video? It's here. It's here and they'll be here every Sunday and sometimes on Thursdays there'll be a little extra video for you ladies but Sunday vlogs have resumed and we're back and hopefully better than ever. So um, with that I would love to know how you guys are doing. Comment down below. Let's chat. I'd love to catch up with all of you. I know it's been feels like it's been forever hasn't it? But anyways today um, Jack and I are heading down to Cambridge. We're gonna have dinner with my family and then go out with some friends later tonight. Anyways um, I thought we would get dressed together with some new bits from a new brand. Essentially um, my mom had got me a belt from Fairfax and Favor this Christmas, which I have been loving. And after that, I started searching around um, about Fairfax and Favor, and it's very reminiscent of Holland Cooper. It's that like um, sort of countryside tailoring kind of vibe to it. And in doing so, I realized that Fairfax and Favor had reached out to me like two years ago, um, wanting to, you know, send me stuff and have me pick out a few things to try out and wear and style. And I felt so bad, but I ended up messaging and being like, oh my goodness, I totally missed your message. I would love to pick out items if it's still available. Um, and I did. So, um, where do we start? So, first of all, the packaging is gorgeous. Very, very extravagant. Um, so, let's start over here. This is probably going to be the most predictable item that I could have picked up. But you guys know me and my love of blazers it is very very serious oh wow all right so first thing that i picked out is this beautiful wool blazer it is in a navy color it's a very very dark navy it says here it's made in portugal i got a size uk8 and the style this is the beatrice 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 wool blazer. How many times can I say Beatrice? Um, now, it's definitely on the lighter side. It's not overly structured. Um, you can tell just by like the sleeves. It is on the thinner side. Um, but I'm going to style this up and hopefully wear this today. So that's the first thing that I sort of picked out from the brand. The second thing... The next thing I picked out is a new bag. This is the Mini Windsor. So, packaging is actually very, very cool. I like it a lot. All right. This is the bag that I went for. Um, so like I said, it is called the Mini Windsor and it is made of leather and then beautiful suede on the front and the back. Now, I'm typically a little bit hesitant to reach for bags that are um, made in suede because they are a little bit more delicate. You can't necessarily wear them out, say, like on a rainy day or if it's snowing because the water will um, damage the suede. But I couldn't help myself. The blue was so beautiful. And I realized I didn't really have too many like navy bags in my collection. I have one from Demelier, um, which I love, but I don't reach for it very often to be honest and I'm not sure why because I love the style it fits a lot but I don't reach for it so anyways as soon as I saw this I figured it goes with the blazer and it's just been like a color I feel like blue and browns I've been loving recently and I thought it would look perfect so I'm gonna check out the inside which I haven't looked at yet and you know me I do love a crossbody style so this also is a crossbody I'm not a huge fan of bags that are simply uh, top handle I just feel like they're not they're not functional for my lifestyle um, so I have very few bags that are solely top handles okay there is a ton of room in there and um, there's one little pocket 
Otherwise, it is completely empty and I love it. Oh, so cool. I'm gonna pick out a few pieces and put an outfit together with these two new items. I just put in a quick outfit together. I grabbed my little Goelia turtleneck, obviously the new blazer, some white jeans, and then this is the belt that my mom got me for Christmas. Love it, I'm wearing it so much recently. Um, and I have to say, I was a little bit um, skeptical of the blazer just because it felt a little bit thinner, but on the body, it fits really really beautifully um the wool feels amazing i love the little emblem um here as well i don't know it looks very like studious almost like academic which i kind of really like um but yeah my only concern and i don't wear it with my pants it did say to be careful because this could potentially transfer um it must just be like the dyeing process but all the little details are beautiful the buttons feel super super high quality all the like seams and the stitching is super super neat so it feels really really lovely and looks really beautiful so yeah and then of course the bag is just oh Gorgeous. I know um, Fairfax and Faber had like multiple different styles, but this is the one that caught my attention um, And I was torn between this color and they have like a beautiful like chocolate brown color um, in a bigger style and it kind of looked like um, A style from the row if you know, I think it's called the Margot um, I could be so wrong in that name, but anyways, this is the mini style and I loved it because I typically go for smaller bags I just feel like they look a little bit more um, classic, but Anyways, there you go. That's the blazer. It's a yes from me. Anyways, now that I'm all dressed, I want to take a moment and go through some PR. I have a like overload of PR. In fact, I might even break this up into two videos because there is a lot, um, but I want to go through some of the ones that I'm really excited to open. Um, also because tomorrow, which you will see in this video, I'll be going through my entire apartment, going through everything that I own, at least specifically with like clothes and shoes and stuff, um, and getting rid of stuff that I don't use, I don't want. Um, I feel like I did it last year and I really liked it, although I never got around to selling everything. But anyways, that's on for tomorrow. So today I want to go through my PR and sort of organize it, go through it, open it up, and get rid of any boxes that I don't need. So, let's do it. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna start with this little Dior. I've actually had this one for a while, and I haven't opened it up. Um, typically, I'm like super quick with Dior, but I've been so busy, and there's been just like so many new launches recently that I honestly haven't gotten around to it. But this is a oh, cute little case. This is the Capture Total Hyla Shot. So it says this is a complex of two hyaluronic acid and the extract of multi-fermented Longoza for visible and lasting youth. It seems like this is like a hydrating hyaluronic acid sort of like boost. Okay. Oh my God, it's like that ornamenting talk. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, take two. Um, Okay, take three. Um, this is the, um, all right, take four. This is, um, it comes with two tubes. I guess both of them are the Hyla shot. And I think they're supposed to be super, super precise. So you can essentially apply it um, wherever you want. So you can apply it and then mix it in. Okay. I will have to try this out and see what it does um, because I feel like right now there's a lot of different products on the market that sort of like target hydration and um, wrinkles and stuff like that. So it'd be very interesting to test that out. Next up we have something from Paris 64. Now this was something that I did not personally pick out. I had previously picked out my tiny little brown bag. If you've seen it, you'll know which one I'm talking about. Um, but this one was kind of just sent in the mail by the team and I typically don't um, like to have, especially like clothing and shoes and bags. I really like to pick them out myself. I'm very, very picky. Uh, but they sent a really, really lovely note. Says thank you so much for styling our prismatic bag so beautifully. We absolutely adore your style and we are honored to send you another one of our iconic bags. So let's check it out. <laughs> So this is the Mini Lumiere, and apparently it's one of their most popular bags, and they sent it to me in the caramel. It is very, very adorable, very, very cute, um, and it's a very unique style, and I do love the camel color. All right, it looks like there is a crossbody in there. There's not a whole lot of room in here for stuff. It's 
very tiny. I just need to figure out where are these straps are going to. I see, okay. So there's tiny little hooks sort of hidden, which is really, really nice. And then you've got the crossbody, which I really like. Um, there you go, there's a new bag. I'll have to test this out and use it and see how much I reach for it so I can give you guys sort of my um, honest opinion on it. Just off first impressions, the leather looks beautiful, it feels beautiful and the style is really, really cute. Um, I just don't know how practical it's gonna be in terms of like how much fits in it, but we'll see. Next up, it looks like we have something from Vichy. Um, I've actually never tried anything from Vichy, but this is a collagen range. Um, it is called the Collagen Specialist. This is the Lift Active. And it says it fights the five signs of aging due to collagen loss. So that's gonna target firmness, wrinkles, plumpness, elasticity, radiance. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay, so. I got sent both the day and night cream alongside this cute little bag. Um, and this is the foaming cleanser for a sensitive skin, which I'm actually really excited about because I do have slightly sensitive skin. So I'm actually very excited to try that out. All right, this is something that I have been patiently waiting to open. This is a PR package from Save Beauty, which I so love. I love that what they focus on is just like beautiful, natural skin. like. It's just all about like healthy, glowing skin, which is everything that I'm about. And we got a massive blush. I'm assuming that there's gonna be a bunch of blushes in here. Yeah, there sure are a lot of blushes in there. So first up, we have a little mirror. Cute. Okay, we have a little stand-up mirror. Actually, this is great for travel because so many times in hotels when I want to like sit by a window and do my makeup, I don't have a mirror to do my makeup. And this is perfect. It's like a perfect little flat travel set. I'm actually gonna get a lot of use out of that. Um, and then we've got a, another of their glowy super gel. This is in the shade Star Glow. I actually like Sun Glow for me personally because I feel like it adds a really nice like sun-kissed tint to the skin. But if you're a bit more on the fairer side, Star Glow is going to be an awesome shade. And then their blushes, which I actually have never tried and I'm very excited to do so. In fact, my mom has tried them and she actually, mom, I'm totally like exposing you here, but... I caught her using it as lipstick by accident, um, but they sent so many different shades. Let me know if you guys want me to try these out. I'm not a huge blush girl, I don't know why, but they literally sent me every single color and I'm already catching three that I feel like I'm really interested in. So we've got Spicy, Rosy, and Cutie. I feel like these three shades could be really, really pretty, especially Cutie. I might actually throw this one in my makeup bag and take it with me to test out over the weekend. Oh yeah, it's like a super like neutral color. Oh, wow, that's actually really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take this home. I think this takes the cake for the cutest delivery ever. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. It literally looks like the blush products. <laughs> now, this is a new brand to me. The brand is called Natalie Martin. And um, you guys know I love, more so in the summer, I love like patterned, printed, colorful dresses and robes and this company seems to do a lot of beautiful sort of like cotton dresses and robes. I got a little scrunchy and I just fell in love. So this is kind of like the vibe of the brand. And again, not necessarily for winter for me, but for the summer, I feel like I wear so many of this kind of style of dresses. So they kindly allowed me to pick out something from them. And I wanna say, I think I picked out a robe because I just loved the pattern of everything. Oh yes, okay. So, this is the robe that I picked out, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, so, it is this gorgeous sort of like floral print. I loved the warmth and the like red tones in it. And I will say it is a very like thin sort of fresh cotton material. I'll have to check if it is cotton, let me see. All right, so I lied, it's not cotton, it's rayon, and it does say that it's handmade in Bali, so it's very, very delicate, um, and you can tell the material is kind of like thin and breezy. Again, I feel like for the summer, if you live in a hot climate, this is gonna be beautiful. I'm very excited to try this out. Um, I'm just gonna hang this up for now. 
It's very, very, very pretty. This could very well be a new go-to brand for like summer dresses. And then there's the belt. I'm just gonna hang that up. And then this, I believe, was a dress because again, I wanted to um, just feel out their brand. So this one does feel more like a cotton, but I'm gonna be wrong again, potentially. This is called the Fiore Maxi Dress. This one is 100% cotton, and it's just got a very like billowy silhouette. It is a midi length, um, and then it's got kind of like a higher neckline with some beautiful buttons going down the middle, if you can see there. Really, really pretty. Again, I just wanted those easy dresses in the summer that are super comfy to wear, but um, are kind of effortless. You don't have to do much with them, right? Um, and I really, really like the look of it. Oh. Very excited to try these out. The last thing that I have is a body range from a new brand that I've never heard of. They actually reached out to me and wanted me to try some of their stuff. And I was so happy to because again, uh, well, you guys know I have very dry skin, especially in the winter. I have eczema and I feel like my skin is just very high maintenance and hydration is key. So this brand is all about essentially body care. And it says here, from my heart and culture to yours, may this bathing ritual restore your body and mind. The brand is called Nera. So let's open it up. Also, the packaging is just beautiful. They sent me their body cleansing ritual, and I believe it's like a multi step um, ritual. So it says here you've got your prepare, so you've got a pre exfoliating foam, exfoliate is step two, hydrate is step three, and nourish is step four. And this is kind of cool, just maybe because of my history background, but it says here reimagine ancient Mediterranean bathing practices, tracing its roots back to the Greek and Roman empires and further developed by the Ottoman Turks and North Africans. Nara modernizes ancient Mediterranean bathing rituals for today's skincare. Historically, these rituals were a central part of social life, a luxurious space for full body cleansing. At Nara, we stand by responsibility and transparency. Our skincare line is committed to utilizing natural, high quality vegan ingredients paired with eco friendly packaging in homage to the rich, interconnected traditions that paved the way for modern skincare. I feel like I am so so into it, I love it. That is something that really resonates with me. Um, okay, so it says here, this is the dry body oil. Obviously, the last step. And just to give you a close up of the packaging, very, very cool. Um, and this is just a beautiful body oil. Again, the packaging is beautiful. And it says it's fragrance free, so I don't smell anything, which is really nice. You can put your body care on and then, you know, put your fragrance on over top. Or if you're someone who has really, really sensitive skin, um, typically the first thing they say is no fragrance. So this is going to be perfect. Let's see what else is in here. It's about the body wash. Again, the packaging is amazing i just want to like put all of this in my shower i feel like it's going to look amazing and again fragrance free this one's got hyaluronic acid collagen pink clay amino acids probiotics squalane vitamin b e a and omega-6 and 3. um it's i feel like it's got amazing things in there oh my goodness i'm dying to try this stuff out i feel like this is the package i'm most excited about and then we've got the pre-exfoliating foam again so beautiful the packaging so very, very exciting. I love discovering brands like this that are so niche but so amazing. Okay, well, that is the last thing um, that I have to open up with you today. I do have more PR. Let me know if you want to see the rest of the PR in another video um, because I feel like it's just there's a lot and I don't want to bombard you with a million PRs. But this one, I will say. I'm very, very excited about. So anyways, I have to go pack to leave to go see my parents. We're going to have dinner with them. Um, and yeah, I also have to go pick out an outfit uh, to go uh, for some drinks with friends today. So uh, wish me luck.
Good morning. It is closet clear out day. I've got my mom and Abuela here with me today and we are going through all of my closets and I'm kind of figuring out what I like, what I love, what I want to keep, what I don't. And unfortunately, because of my job, I am going to be keeping a lot of things as sort of like archive pieces. I never know when I'm going to need a certain item, especially for like events. So I've decided that I'm going to have a bit of an archive mini closet at my parents house because i don't have enough room here and those pieces are going to be pieces that i feel like i might have to reach for in the future and then obviously i will be selling some and oh my god last time i made this video i never added anything that i sort of like was getting rid of to my um oh what's it called my selling app not depop there's the other one i can't think of it right now but um, hopefully I'll do that this time. All of those pieces that I got rid of last time are actually still in storage. They have not been sold. Um, so if you had an eye on any of those pieces, I promise you they're still very much in my ownership. Um, I just haven't gone around to it. It is one of those very tedious tasks that you have to like take a picture or find the price that you originally paid for and price it, which to me that is so stressful and not my thing. But anyways, I'm going to stop blabbing and let's get into it i've come into my bedroom now and look at my new bookshelf i actually need another one i bought it thinking it was going to be sufficient for all my books and as you can see like right here there's already books piling on top of each other um but this is the mess that needs to be tackled they don't have homes this entire chest of drawers needs to be done and obviously my entire closet which you guys have seen <laughs> needs some <laughs> love my mom and i had soup and we were both like overheating and i guess i can open the window Now we've got my drawer of jeans and I feel like there's a lot that needs to go here just because I kept them all but I don't know. Okay, let's go through them. All right, next up is blazers. This one's a hard one for me because I like all my blazers. All right, that one is Excel Archive. Archive, actually. I that's fine. I feel like I can't get rid of my like original Aritzia blazers. No, I yeah. shouldn't. That's no. my problem. Like I don't want them here anymore because I don't wear them. But like they are oh, yeah. treasures. <laughs> Who remembers? the original club double breasted blazer from Aritzia. I, this is the blazer. I will never get rid of this and I'm so sorry, but this is the blazer that I actually started my YouTube channel with. Oh my goodness. Honestly, it is still so gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's got this beautiful like texture to the, the material. Oh my goodness. I love it. And I have the matching trousers to it, which I found like weirdly like a year later but um i'll put a picture here of a really cool outfit i have with this sorry ladies she's staying <laughs> My keepers here, yep. stays here. Yep. All right, I've just moved on to pants and I found the matching trousers to the club double breasted blazer. So these are keepers as well. <laughs> Well, I hope you had as good of a laugh as we did because Abuela is just sitting right in front of me. She was like, 
oh my goodness, I did my hair, I was looking all beautiful, and like I didn't even show up. And then mom and I were like, no, I think you did. I think you were putting away like the cable or something. And she's like, that's where I showed up. So then that's where you heard her talking to me. And I'm sorry if you don't understand Spanish, but she was essentially just saying she can't believe that I showed her on YouTube picking up a cable. <laughs> but anyways, now mom and I are having these little, mom, mom do you know what they're called? That's a good question. I don't know. Triangle Kimbop. Triangle Kimbops. My roommate in uh, first year used to have these and she was actually the one who introduced me to them. And it's just like um, nori on the outside or well, just like a piece of seaweed. And then you've got rice and this one has tuna. Mom's opening up the um, kimchi one. Mm -hmm. It's just like a really yummy snack. Oh wow, this one's spicy. Good though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, um, that's the kimchi one. It's like really red. Okay, for whatever. No, I've had spicy salmon, like like the spicy salmon in tuna or in um, sushi. It's really good in these. Ooh, mm -hmm. really creeping up the heat. Mm -hmm. Speaking of food, this weekend, Mom, Jack, and I are gonna make mon. Oh, is it monsubi or mitsubi? Um, essentially it's a like traditional dish, I believe it's from Hawaii, and it's used, um, and you use Spam, rice, and then the same sort of like nori wrap, and you make like wraps or rolls. Jack and I found a really good, a really good video, like recipe, YouTube video for it, so I think the three of us are gonna try and make that this weekend, because mom loves that type of food. Mm -hmm. She tried them when we went to Epcot in Florida, and Jack and I sort of like, we're like, well, what can we do with Spam, and... So we're gonna do this weekend. Maybe I'll take you along. Awell and I are just getting ready to go out. Well, mom's already ready, but we are touching up makeup. I have a new little gal to show you guys. <laughs> and Awell is using the milk makeup. She already used Say Beauty and stole a sweater out of my closet. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just to quickly show you what I'm wearing, I got my trusty Zara jeans. This jacket is one of my absolute favorites. It's from Smythe. I think I got it on sale, like at Holt Run Through. Um, and then I've got my Holland Cooper top underneath my Fairfax and Favor belt, which has been one of my favorite gifts. Um, I got it for Christmas. And then we've got the most amazing little Strathberry bag. This is the Nano Tote, which is my favorite style from Strathberry. I wanna say that this is my third colorway in this bag, and I mean, I would be happy with it in black and white and purple and every single color that it comes in, but it is this gorgeous light blue color with a green handle and white details. Okay, my mother's gonna kill me for showing you this bag and this lighting and with this background, but as you can see, it's a beautiful blue color. The handle is green, the sides are white, and then you've also got the classic kind of Strathberry crossbody which is a chain with the handle matching the other handle so beautiful all right had to show mom in here with our strathberries we like to call these like daughter and mom because she's got i think you got the medium or the large it's the bigger size but i've got the mini me and they're so cute look at them oh okay i just put on a hat because it is i think like negative three out and i wanted a cozy um head today so i put this one on it's from Fritzia, but i think i bought it with the one day because it was so cold i couldn't bear not having a hat and i like impulsed purchased it and it ended up being a great impulse purchase so Just left Aritzia and we are heading to Italy. Hopefully we can get a table there because um, it is going to be super busy tonight. But um, Mum and Willa just did some purchases at Aritzia. I treated Willa to a little outfit for next week because we are taking her somewhere super, super exciting. Like it all. I don't think she can hear me from here. Um, for a little girl's trip, we're staying there two nights. So we are telling her like, okay, you need one outfit for dinner. Well, you need two outfits for dinner and you know, like a bathing suit and I'm even treating her to a Beaumont facial, which as you guys know, I think they are some of the best facial. Like if you want like the best facial ever, just get a Beaumont facial. There are other amazing facials for like cheaper. Sorry, my camera was so blurry, but as I was saying, I think one of the best facials that I've ever gotten from my experience has been Beaumont. Um, I just think they do it really, really well. So I'm treating her to that, which will be really fun. But um, yeah. Broke 
to her that her face is not in it. <laughs> we are home now, and I think we have all had one too many glasses of whatever we all drank, hence the peineta, or whatever it's called in English, on the top of my head. But we were laughing the night before because mom forgot her pajamas and so abuela gave her pajamas to mom. <laughs> and then I gave my set of NYX PJs to abuela. And we were laughing because the length of the pants on me versus my abuela are not even remotely close. Abuela, vente. Okay, it's hard to tell, but like the length of the pants, I mean, now that I'm showing you, they look identical. But last night it was hilarious because they were like very similar. Mom, are you having a cupcake back there? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Abuela's putting on her earrings for you girls. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like good Latinas is yes. what that is. Mm -hmm. I'm making a mess. All right, I'm gonna make a yeah. cupcake too. I made cupcakes the other day because my period was like five days away. Abuela, how do you say cupcake no, in Spanish? No, no, no. Ahora. Ponque. Ponque. Ahora sí. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're on a say <laughs> super gel right now. I don't know if I want this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing like Betty Crocker. She really knows how to do it. This is a sign <laughs> of a good night.